to get up earlier than that to get the jump on us. I've got a little something sharp for them. <laughs> hey, what the... Ah! Forget about me! This is not normal. Diramon, save me! I have to sleep in my own filth in here! Get me out of here! Get me to a safe place, then we will talk. to kill all of them. That damn cage was too hard to get out of his own. I... Apollodorus sent me to help you. Give me the scroll. Scroll? I do not have any scroll. Your job was to carry it. I hid it on our ship. I did not want it to fall into the wrong hands. Where is the ship? At the bottom of the lake. They sank it. Ah, very well. I will get it. Apollodorus is waiting for you at the lighthouse. I will tell him to find you near the sunken ship. I was going to kill all of them. That damn cage was too hard to get out of his own. Precious scroll. Neck.
Here's your precious papyrus. Well done, Bayek. I see you are a capable man. Someone I may be able to trust. The scroll was meant for the Roman general Pompey in an effort to sway Rome to Cleopatra's side. She will be grateful to you for keeping the communication secret. She is at my estate. We're headed there now. How does Aya fit into all this? Her cousin Phanos informed me that she was a driven woman stalking deadly prey. It so happened that I also had reason to bring down this prey. When Aya was successful, I stepped in to protect her. We are grateful. And we are grateful that you have eliminated Eudorus. He was an odious individual. I should tell you that in addition to Eudorus, I put an end to the Philaketai of Alexandria, Gennadios. Gennadios? I am very glad he is dead. But it will cause serious problems for you. The Philakis are a tightly bound group. And murderers. They will certainly come after you. So be it. Can I ask why you wanted Eudorus dead? As you know, Cleopatra's brother, Ptolemy, is too young and pliable to be a strong leader. We believe Eudorus was the force behind Ptolemy, responsible for so many of Egypt's current ills. Here we are. The villa is up ahead. You will learn more at the villa. The queen enjoys the life of high society. I'm pleased that Aya is bringing some sober substance to Cleopatra's social circle. She is an extraordinary woman, your wife. I know. Bayek, before I can disclose all secrets, Cleopatra must meet and approve of you. She can be particular. Let me give you some advice. When you approach the queen, Bend your knee in deference. Speak only in reply. Yours is not to question, but to answer. Do not be distracted by the festivities. She has a large entourage, and they like to amuse themselves. Sometimes to excess. Speak clearly, in measured tones, and above all, do not meet her gaze. Ready? I cannot wait. She caught assume. me with her husband. The sensation is most delightful. This way. Oh, don't worry. She doesn't hold me. Where is my opium pipe? I will sleep with anyone as long as they agree to be executed in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> like Xantivis. He was well satisfied with his bargain. Who is this toothsome fellow? In mehoto ek nebsheve. My queen, this is, uh... Well? It is a generous offer. But I've already pledged my life to this woman. Aya, you have chosen well. Come, we have much to discuss. 
celebrate, my friends. <laughs> you were meant to kneel. <laughs> ah, Pasheremta. Meet Aya and Bayek. They put an early end to Eudoros. Delightful. You are joining our efforts, then? We do not know what your efforts are. Eudorus was a member of the Order of Ancients. They are responsible for my exile. They tore me from my throne. And why should I care about them? Well, the snake has many heads. Those heads make up the Order. The snake is the man who killed my son. It is not so simple. What are they talking about? I don't know. They must know something. The Order of Ancients seeks to control all Egypt. Ptolemy is but their puppet. We have informants in each region, but they have been unable to touch the Order. Uh, across Egypt, mysterious forces work against us. For instance, here, in the Nile Delta, the endless sands swallow up whole villages, yet a malignant human force moves with them. That force is one of the Order of Ancients, called the Scarab. And over here, in most sacred Giza? A shadowy figure called the Hyena controls all that occurs. What is certain is that Giza is the land of death and loss. And then there's Memphis. All is cast in my land. Even the sacred Apis bull himself. The one called the Lizard has worked a sort of diabolical power. So the snake is the Order of Ancients? Yes. Eudorus was known as the Hippo. You are right, my love. He was not the last one. All of these are. When the Order wants something, as in Siwa, it does not hesitate to crush all in its path. For Siwa, now Fayum, it is the most oppressed region in all of Egypt. Where the crocodile wields crew power, the denizens live in constant fear. That is the fate that awaits all Egypt if we fail to stop the order. We need decisive action. It is time for assassinations. We still have not found the man who killed Remu. Our sunshed will weep with joy when we clear the map of those figures. You are my Magi now. Protector of the true Pharaoh of Egypt. So it shall be. Tonight, we drink. Celebrate. Make love. Tomorrow.
Push your racket, auntie. You will just make the... I seek the Master Brewer, Hakuf. I have no time. Speak to one of my overseers if you must. You misunderstand. I am a Magi. 
Apollodorus sent me. Apollodorus, of course. He sent me for the scarab, the shadow that darkens Saïs. Shh, please. That is an evil name to speak aloud. Apollodorus knows that people are suffering. In my position, many confide in me. Trade is strangled, the soldiers run rampant, and the weight of Ptolemy's taxation crushes the breath from us. Come with me. Let us retire where we have a roof overhead. Come now. Ah, Bean. Nachte. Happy guide us. And back. Come, Neb, we must hurry. There are many terrible stories about the scarab. I am sure Apollodorus told you. Tales of mutilation, disappearances, and folk buried in the desert and left to die. A horrendous fate. Trapped in the shimmering sand, your mind and body pounded by the remorseless sun, waiting for the final release into the duat. But these are only stories. There are real villains in size. But the Scarab, if he exists, it is not safe to speak of him. The investigations of... The last man who asked questions about the scarab was near beaten to death, with his tongue cut out. Hmm. Who was he? Old Gupa, father-in-law to the most powerful man in the region, Tahaka. That boy, Hawab, is his grandson. Hey, you tired of winning? I'm looking for your grandfather. Do you know where he went? No. He left on the road to Camp Piros. He should have been home by now. I'll see if I can find him along the road. Oh, 
Ó. This is heavily guarded. I think you've killed him. No, he's still breathing. Stupid. This will teach him. Yeah. 
Shame your mother ever spread her legs! Hey, now! high in the mountains. Apollo means me to find this halo of the Huntress. Hey, what? my father's cock, Marcos.
What happened to the beggar? The mute? Marcos and Tycho beat him for sneaking around the camp. <clears throat> Poor bastard collapsed. <gasps> what? Someone is asking for a final life lesson. Hey, hold on! Time to die! <laughs>
Kupa. I will get you out. I think you will survive. I know this scarab took your tongue, but we can help each other. Hakuf told me that you are investigating this scarab. Help me, and I can ensure he dies. I you must deal with Sepetu's archers and Saiz. They are his eyes. Entrepreneurs, wanderers, seek not your solace here. I just heard. Banged up, bruised, and thirsty. The soldiers do not take kindly to him, but he will be all right. Where's your father, Kawa? We must speak of this. Father is away, on his great walk. Mother! Grandfather is hurt! Soldiers mistook him for a beggar again. Father! What have you done this time? You were searching for this Kara. I hope he can help me. And in return, I can protect your family. The scarab is nonsense. Everyone knows this. He wants you to read them. It looks like the scarab is summoning warriors to the city of Letopolis. By the gods! That is where my husband is. But well, the city swallowed by the desert. It is father's destiny to rebuild it. We're going to join him soon. Right, mother? Yes. My husband, Tahaka, has been slaving there for months. I'm sure he can help you. He knows everyone there. If you go, tell him I can't wait to see him. <laughs> yeah, of course I will, Kawa. Some awesome, Sue. You are Bayek, yes? My master is anxious that you get this letter. It is urgent. Your master? Do I know him? His name is Otis. You haven't met. All is explained in the letter. Utsiwa we'll never know peace. I will go to the Sarajina camp to learn if there is any truth to this letter. Whoa. <laughs> I heard another merchant failed to pay Sefetu.
Push your racket, auntie. You will just make it. Yalla, yalla. Ah! 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 I saw you ride last month when five chariots all crashed at the turn. Yes, that was an amazing race. Your horses look so strong, so sleek. How do you choose them? <laughs> I have. So I said, it's not your pig I'm talking about, it's your wife. <laughs> Bayak! How long has it been? A decade? <laughs> More? <laughs> you left Siwa a long time ago, huh? And you left your name behind too. I had to. Claridas is a name better suited for the Hippodrome. <laughs> Remember the horses we rode outside Siwa? Huh? Oh, those nags! <laughs> I thought you would never leave that shithole. Hmm. Siwa. Small, poor, and ugly. <laughs> the only beauty there was Aya. Has it changed much? Has she? Things change. People change. <laughs> ah! I need another drink! <laughs> Pardon, Neb. I overheard Clarida say you once rode together. My father sponsors the Prazina Greens, and we are in need of a mighty racer. I'm only here to drink and forget. Leave him alone, Nikias. <laughs> Real men are drinking here tonight. <laughs> Bayek, come. Let me show you something inspiring, huh? I will leave you in the dust! Where are you taking me, Senefa? Please, Claridas. I have not been Senefa in years. Ah, why did you change your name? To succeed in the Hippodrome, one must be welcomed by the Greek houses. So, a Greek name. You abandoned your name? Your home? Siwa was nothing to me. The Greeks may look down on us, but screw them! I eat and drink well on what I win.
I have no ambition to race at the Hippodrome. You? <laughs> no, never. They cheer for me. Besides, you would need a sponsor, a real chariot. Now, Icarus, he was a true hero. Did you know he won a thousand races and survived twice as many? See how they loved Icarus? You have adopted their gods too. Aye. Oh. Our gods never did anything for me. You're lucky I left. If I had stayed, Aya would have been mine. You are drunk and an ass. You have no idea what I give up. Oh, the world is hard. You always looked down on me in Siwa. Thought you were better. I never... Doesn't matter. I have found fame. At what cost? You gave up your home, your name, your gods. You chose this path. And it has brought me all the coin and cunt I want. Now you always wanted glory. It is not what drives all of us. And all you wanted was Aya and little Bayax. What made you abandon your dream? Enough. You were alive. <laughs> you are old. Time for me to dunk my head. Uh, the beer hits harder than you. What in Dionysus' name were you talking to Nikias about last night? Nikias? Who? Don't bullshit me. I saw you. What? You think his father will just welcome you onto the Prasina Green team?